Hello everybody, it's me, Andrew, and this is your weekly reading for March 7th through the 13th. Um, I am using the Crystal Mandala Oracle this week. Um, I don't really know why. It was just, I drew a card from it this morning and it just like hit me. And so I had to do the healing process with that because um, I love it so much and it's so pretty. And I actually show it to you. Toot, toot, toot. Toot, 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 toot. Ascended Master Helios and Citrine. I actually have a couple pieces of Citrine. And it says, it's your time to shine. So I'm looking forward to doing that short meditation later. So, but for now, I'm putting this card back in the deck because it may come out again. And I want you guys to have a fair shot at getting all the cards. Um, at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you guys a little bit of the Loving Words from Jesus um, Oracle cards. Because um, there's not really a whole lot to show there. So I'm just going to link these two together so I don't have to make a separate video. Monday, Tuesday. And I do have a guide look out for this deck because if you watch my Periscope and if you watched my um, unboxing or show and tell of this video, then you know that with a lot of Fairchild decks, I almost always use the guidebook unless my intuition can pick some stuff up. So we're just going to see what happens. Talk to me. Where's the next card? Is that... Okay, and all right. I think another one wanted to come out. Hold on. You'll probably be hearing my cat running along the, the floor. She likes to run and like slide in the in the stuff when she's playing with her little toys. <laughs> okay. Huh. They're upside down. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, ah, I love this one. <laughs> so from Monday and Tuesday, we have, hold on, let me get over here. From Monday and Tuesday, we have Ascended Master St. Germain and Amethyst, and this is about spiritual connection. So what this card is saying is that the beginning of the week, we really need to focus on that spiritual connection that we have with the divine and with each other. We also have to realize that we're all spiritually connected. So if you have one person that's bugging the absolute fuck out of you. Know that you're connected to them spiritually and that they're placed in your path to help you grow, to help you recognize things in yourself that you need to work on. So, but this is also about growing spiritually. There's going to be a lot of like moving forward this, like in Monday and Tuesday. So this is going to be really, really good for a lot of us because a lot of us maybe have been feeling a little bit like <sighs> like overwhelmed with like spiritual practices and stuff like that. And I just want to throw this out there. You know, whatever your spiritual practice is, you know, I was reading an article the other day and it really made sense to me. Don't, you know, a lot of us came from organized religion. A lot of us came from Christianity into um, like the new agey um, spirituality realm of things. And it told me to talk about this just now under this card. And don't let other people, you know, like dictate your beliefs, you know, it's really important to form your own belief system. You know, as much as I love Doreen Virtue, I don't, you know, say that everything she says is Bible truth, you know, or that I identify with every single thing that she says or how she sees every single thing. Most of it, yes, I'm not going to say I don't because I've, I've, I've had it proven to me. But if you are looking for something, if you are, um, you know, struggling to be like, oh, I've got to meditate, I've got to you know, do crystal healing, I've got to read tarot, I've got to do all this stuff. You don't have to do that. You know, do what resonates with your soul and, like, forget the rest of it. Like, do what you feel right. Do what, do what you feel right in doing. Don't let other people dictate what you should or shouldn't be doing. So that's something really, really, really important. That article was really, really good. It was more focused to um, pagan and, like, Wicca and witchcraft and that kind of stuff. Sorry, I got something in my eye. But it... um. Wow. But it, um, it's very relevant in all, um, in all walks of life. So if you don't identify with like the, 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 the light and the unicorn side of every single thing. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my God. I have no idea what is in my eye. Okay. So if you don't identify with the light, fluffy unicorn side of life, you know, and you identify with that shadow side, embrace that really kind of find your journey. 
that's what the first, that's what Monday Tuesday is about, that spiritual connection, finding that authentic spiritual connection in yourself and with other people and with the divine. That's the most important thing. Wednesday, Thursday, we have Ascended Master, White Matthew, and Dan, Dan Burright, probably. And this is original self. Ooh, this is good. So this is saying that that spiritual connection that you find, that that spiritual connection that you find with yourself that's authentic and true to you is going to help you be your true and authentic self. It's going to help you shine bright. It's going to help you shine far. And everybody's going to see it when you're authentic to yourself. So Wednesday and Thursday have you finding yourself in a very authentic way. Okay, so for the weekend, we have Goddess Maya and Ruby Aura Quartz. And this is Searing Presence. So what they told me as I, drew, as I looked at this card is that you're going to know that the divine is always with you. Know that whoever you identify with, um, as far as divinity goes, is always with you. You know, and this is going to be a weekend where you really honestly and truly feel that presence and embrace that presence because your spiritual connection and your authentic self, your original self, is what's going to help you feel the presence of whoever you identify with from a um, divinity standpoint. So that's awesome. That's an awesome weekend card. And we have the goddess, the goddess Sekhmet and Fire Aggie with Passion of the Lion Heart for the bonus card. And I am going to read the guidebook on this one because I am not above having to read the guidebook for certain things. Through passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves you from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you once may not have believed possible. So that's awesome. So basically it says that your, your theme for this week is to move forward, to let your inner love and your inner passion and your inner fire propel you forward to do things you never thought you would do. And how you do this is by identifying that spiritual connection, getting rid of all the bullshit that no longer like identifies with who you are as a person and who you are as a being, and get rid of all that, get, put it to the side, you know, get rid of it. Embrace who you truly are. Know that that presence of the divine is with you. And then this is going to all propel you forward into doing things that you never thought you would do because you have that courage and you don't have that dogma of like, oh, I've got to do this, 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 and this. So that was your, that was your reading for the week. So I'm going to show you a couple cards from the Loving Words from Jesus deck and by Dorian Virtue. So basically this is going to be a little mini unboxing of the the thing. There's no guidebook with this deck. It's just 44 cards. There's a little um, card in here talking about um, her connection with Jesus and, you know, basically saying that you can work with Jesus no matter what your background is. So um, me and Jesus um, decided, decided to see other people quite a while back. Um, and it just kind of went from there. But I thought this deck would kind of help me rekindle that relationship with him. So this is the back of the cards. It uh, has Jesus on it. And so this is what the cards look like. The artwork is really pretty, and I really like it. This says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And your Heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. So what this is saying, I, just don't, I guess I just drew cards. I didn't even really mean to. But um, this is saying, don't forget that, you know, God knows your needs you know, or whoever is in your belief, spiritual belief system, I use God. But um, it's very um, important to know that you're never alone, that you are always cared for, you're always loved, and, you know, God's just not going to leave you out to dry, or the goddess isn't going to leave you out to dry. Whoever you really, truly identify with, they're not just going to leave you out to dry. They're not going to be mean to you. And I'm just going to show you four cards, and then we'll put this deck up. There's no guidebook, so you don't have to worry about that. So here are, the, here are the five cards I want to show you, and then we'll get off of here. So, I love this card. Whoops. 
Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. These are all quotes from Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Um, given it shall be given unto you. Peace be unto you as my Father hath sent me. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. I love that one. And then pray always. So the artwork is amazing. Um, if you are looking to rekindle your relationship with Jesus from a non-traditional standpoint and a non-Judeo-Christian standpoint, because who, who needs that, um, then I highly recommend this deck. It's very, very pretty. And it's very um, positive. And that's what I really needed to hear from, from Jesus. So this is the deck. Um, I'm pretty stoked about it. I'll be using it. Um, after I rearrange all of my decks for my spring, you know, deck reading things, I will put those up and um, put these out and, you know, kind of get, you know, creative with it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week. You have a lot of spiritual stuff coming up this week, so I am super excited for you. And I will be seeing you guys later. If you would like a reading with me, you can click the link in the bio below. And feel free to explore my website. Um, and if you haven't already, you can subscribe to Andrew's Angel Crew which is basically a place where we learn about angels, develop our intuition, and develop our relationship with the angels. So people are thinking that's pretty fun, and people are liking it. So if you would like to join, we have lessons about Michael and Raphael up. And you also get exclusive angel readings and meditations. So if you're interested in that, I'll put the link below as well. So I will be seeing you guys soon. Angel blessings to each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.